Hello everyone. Um, so I said that I was going to create a video uh, on the latest post that I, I have here on Instagram. It says, a good relationship with yourself is the hallmark of happiness. A good relationship with yourself means a good relationship with your unconscious mind. What does that mean? As an NLP practitioner myself, um, I'm a believer of the presuppositions that comprise NLP, and there are many, but I'm going to share with you two uh, presuppositions of NLP that I absolutely love that are the basis of this claim that you need to have a good relationship with your unconscious mind in order to function optimally. optimally. Uh, number one, your unconscious mind is a place that records absolutely everything. So when some people say that you forget things or some memories are deleted, it's BS. Everything is kept, retained in your unconscious mind. But your unconscious mind is your friend. It's your best friend. It's your protector. Yes, there are a lot of, a lot of things in there that are, are not doing you good, like fear, as I've mentioned in previous videos. But for the most part, your unconscious mind is your best friend. What it's trying to do is it's trying to protect you. So it will get rid of certain memories to keep you moving forward. Because, because if, if you didn't get rid of certain memories, if you didn't delete and distort and generalize, you wouldn't be able to function. So it's for your own good that your brain deletes, distorts, and generalizes and, and stores away certain memories. However, those memories never go away. Two, your unconscious mind knows somehow, miraculously, when it is the perfect time for you to deal with certain memories that need to be dealt with and released. So the negative memories that you've repressed, that you've broomed under the rug, that you thought you've forgotten already and you're over it, and all that stuff that makes us think we're, you know, strong and we're moving forward. They're there, and they're ready to pop up in the right circumstance, at the right time and place, when your unconscious feels that it is the perfect setting for you to deal with this memory. And you have two options. Either you're going to deal with it, or you're going to repress it further. And that's when it turns into ailments. Because memories are emotions, and you feel your emotions in your body. And when there's a negative emotion, it ha it's a negative code for your body that causes your body to produce cortisol and adrenaline. And when you are on cortisol and adrenaline for a long time, obviously it causes hormonal imbalance and all kinds of diseases or diseases. The point is that when you are not afraid of your unconscious mind and when you're in a good relationship with your unconscious mind and when you listen to it, when it presents something to you from the past, either a long, long time ago, from when you were age two, or from two days ago, you will deal with it. You will sit with it. You will ask it questions. You will go into dialogue with it. You will be curious about it. And heal from it. Release it. This is, this is emotional charge that's in your body. It's pressing. It's taxing for your existence. It's trying to communicate to you. But when you have no relationship with your unconscious mind, you keep repressing. You keep trying to distract yourself. I don't want to remember that. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to. The healthiest people are the people who are like, hmm, yeah, I don't want to deal with that right now. But I know that in the long run, it's for my own benefit. So in sum, one, your memory is perfect. Everything is retained in your unconscious mind. The negative stuff, they're all there. Two, your unconscious mind will, will represent 
those negative memories at the right time and place for you to deal with them, for you to vomit them, get rid of them, and live a happier life by and large. Be a, be a happy creature. <laughs> because you have a good relationship with your unconscious mind, you listen to it, you go into dialogue with it, um, you hear its messages, you take them seriously, you respect it. In other words, basically you deal with your shit. <laughs> and therefore you allow yourself to be what your unconscious mind wants you to be, a happy creature. 